a very difficult situation. It never stops. So I have four kids at my house, and I don't know if when I wake up today I'm going to be a caregiver, if I'm going to be a single father, if I'm going to be a chef, if I'm going to be the laundry guy, if I'm going to be um, what I'm going to be. And, and it may be a day that my wife feels great and I'm, and I'm a spouse. And the next day and the day after that I'm a doctor and a nurse and, uh, and a taxi driver and all those things. So uh, it's very day-to-day -day and it never stops. Major Kevin Pulaski discussing his daily life as a caregiver to his wife, a 13-year veteran. She was diagnosed with a rare disease that limits her ability to go outside without breaking out all over in hives. Doctors cannot identify the cause of her illness, but believe she was exposed to an unidentified chemical while on tour in Afghanistan. Major Pulaski's story shows the harsh reality of war and the hidden heroes who help our wounded veterans returning from the battlefield. Joining us now from Newsmax, Washington, former United States Senator Elizabeth Dole, the founder of Caring for Military Families. Senator Dole, welcome to Newsmax Prime. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be with you today. Uh, Senator, what led you to start your organization? You know, my husband, Bob Dole, was hospitalized about five years ago at Walter Reed. And uh, it was a, a fairly long period of time, about 11 months, his hospitalization. And I was there almost every day, and my eyes were open to something that was just incredible. These hidden heroes, young spouses, mothers, fathers, siblings, other loved ones, trying to care for those who've cared for us, for the wounded warriors. And uh, I saw them struggling because so many of the wounded had multiple injuries, illnesses, and wounds. And they were trying to coordinate across medical systems with different structures uh, to determine the benefits uh, that the uh, uh, wounded would have. Uh, they were uh, really trying to prevent triggers from setting off an emotional episode that could last for some time. Um, and. Uh, worrying about uh, how when they got home from the hospital they'd be able to manage all of the medications and arranging for rehabilitation and just so much more and many of them had young children as well and so my heart just went out to them and I, I started a foundation Elizabeth Dole Foundation uh, caring for military families uh, to try to really raise awareness about these wonderful uh, individuals who had so many challenges and also to uh, to really look for solutions that could impact their lives in a positive way right now and also looking uh, down the road ahead. Senator Dole, we only have about three minutes left. I'm, I'm very curious. You obviously are no stranger to public policy. You outline Bob Dole's challenges there in recovery. I'm glad to hear he's going down to his law firm every day. That's, that's good. Now he's back and, and active still. But in your opinion, is the Veterans Administration doing enough for these families you mentioned? And if not, what more should they be doing? Well, I, I uh, first of all, let me just say that I commissioned the RAND Corporation to do two years of study on this population, their needs, and uh, where their gaps in services, policies, and programs, as well as their recommendations. So we've been moving forward with these initiatives. And uh, uh, Secretary McDonnell has been very helpful. Uh, he is trying very hard to uh, address issues that he feels uh, can be more helpful to the caregivers. Um, he has started a veterans uh, advisory board. Um, and I think that uh, with his background in business, yes, there's more that the Veterans Administration must do. Um, and as he entered that office, really, it, it takes almost a total overhaul uh, of the Veterans Administration. But he is hard at work. This week, he's going to be speaking for my foundation, as well as the First Lady, Michelle Obama, as we gather to really show uh, what has been done in the past year to help these caregivers who are giving so much for our country. And Senator Dole, that, that's a summit, right? A Hidden Hero Summit where the First Lady and the Secretary of Veterans Affairs are going to be along with you. What do you hope to accomplish in this that's summit? That's right. I'm sorry? What do you hope to accomplish uh, during the summit? Well, a year ago, I announced the National Coalition for Hidden Heroes. Um, obviously, this is a societal crisis that must have a national response. And the RAND Corporation pointed that out very clearly. 
at the White House where I announced that uh, national coalition. I also committed uh, to have accountability one year later. And so I'll be announcing many, many different initiatives that we've pursued with uh, coalition partners, over 100 organizations. Um, and we'll also be hearing from my caregiver fellows um, and from uh, different corporations and nonprofit organizations, uh, from uh, members of, uh, of the Congress, as to what's been accomplished as we've worked together uh, to do this over the last year. And then we'll also be pointing out the road ahead. An example would be the Military Officers Association of America, along with the American Bar Association and well, Public this Council, is, which this is, is the largest pro bono law firm. wonderful news. That's wonderful. I hate to, to cut off our conversation. People can learn more going to ElizabethDoleFoundation.org. And Senator Dole, we thank you for your time.